Welcome, welcome everybody to a presentation of the latest uh, Elector magazine, which in this case is the September issue, September 2012 to be precise. Now, as you can see, I am very lucky. Uh, my name is Jan Buiting, by the way, I'm the editor of the magazine. I'm in a very fortunate position to have a binder, which is on my desk, and I have about 20, 25 of these, which contains uh, my magazines. These are very priceful copies, of course. Um, so as you can see, we just fill the, the binders with uh, magazines we publish, and the latest one is the September issue. I hope um, you've all recovered safely from the, uh, the black issue, the July and August 2012 issue, which was very, very special indeed, and got some special, very, very special feedback as well. I'm happy to say. Not going to discuss that, it was done last month by Risse. I am going to do the September issue, which comes out of the binder like so. As you can see, I've got a few helpers, yellow markers, to um, talk you through the latest uh, magazine. Actually, I've decided not to talk you through the magazine, but to solder you through the magazine. That seems to me far more useful than just presenting a lot of talk. But again, inevitably, you have to open the magazine and look what's inside um, to be able to tell you know, if it's anything useful in it for you. Cover looks like, uh, like so. Um, the usual Elector style bright cover, the bright uh, red E. And for the second time around, we've been stamping Linux on the cover because of the tremendous positive feedback we get from uh, our readers on this particular series. Um, I'll just open the magazine and wield the soldering iron where necessary. Uh, my cameraman Patrick is probably going to help me a bit uh, doing this. Um, the first article I'd like to show you is the outcome really of the Design Spark uh, contest we've been running and um, a lot of entries have been received, uh, a couple of very exciting winners and uh, honourable mentions, prizes have been awarded and it looks like very big success for the, uh, for the community in terms of programming open source software and doing lots of interesting things with Design Spark and the Chipkit Max32 development kit. I think um, about two to three thousand people actually participated, which is huge by any, by any standard. We are very grateful for everybody who has actually participated. Thank you very much. Um, soldering on through the magazine, I am arriving at the, um, the, the, the cover item really, which is a nunchuck USB interface. Uh, the nunchuck um, is, is, is an accessory for the Wii game. Children use it a lot and uh, we suggest uh, stealing the stuff from the children or um, uh, covering it or hiding it somewhere and doing some interesting soldering with it because a nunchuck interface makes an excellent uh, video game controller for your own games or applications. And that's what we, we basically show in this, this, article, this article, with some due soldering, of course. Um, it's all explained in great detail, uh, together with programming, software, and, and what have you. There's a lot of tools involved, including ones from Microchip. And uh, in the end, you'll be able to use your cheap uh, nunchuck in, uh, console for uh, your own applications, which is, can be very... Uh, useful and cheap as well. Inevitably we've got some advertising, sorry about that. That's our advertising ad uh, department. A model train interface specially aimed at people, you know, who don't want to build a very simple train interface like having a few resistors or transistors and don't want to build a microcontroller complex controlled thing either. This is something in between with a very nice uh, way of editing it and controlling it all. 
um, by means of a simple script language for which you don't need the soldering iron, of course, we just need some good old thinking. Um, the train interface was submitted by uh, a reader from, from the Netherlands. Uh, in this country, you know, uh, model train building and controlling is very popular as well. This is the series I was mentioning before, Embedded Linux Made Easy. Again, on the front cover. And um, no, no, got that, no soldering in, involved. It is all programming uh, this time. Uh, setting up the menus, describing the various options. Um, I'm always su surprised uh, a bit to see uh, the return to command lines in Linux. Like cd backslash something options dot iso something. Which strikes me as uh, a bit old fashioned but you know the Linux uh, lovers will correct me of course. And say that it's all very up to date and modern and intelligent and, and what have you. We show you how to implement um, a Linux system on our very own embedded board, which you can buy from Elector. The series already has uh, a ton of followers on our forum, and uh, that's the reason why we decided to, um, to organize a webinar, which you can subscribe to, and I would suggest to all followers of the Linux series to keep your eyes and ears open to that because it's a free webinar hosted by Element 14, Farnell and Elector on our easy steps into Linux and it will be held on, if I read this correctly, on September the 20th. So open your diaries and mark that date. Participation is absolutely free. Thank you. The blue section um, also has an article on electorprojects.com um, to which you are all kindly invited, including by myself. Have a look at elector uh, sorry elector-projects.com. There's many interesting projects uh, there. Plug O Drama has been an ongoing uh, drama. We have had many many entries and many uh, people have contributed to that little piece by sending us incredibly old connectors and plugs and stuff. I'm soldering on through the issue with electronics for starters. As you see this, uh, this is a, a series of articles for beginners hence the, uh, the, the name of the uh, series for starters. You know the expression what's for starters mum and if you don't know that expression, try it tonight at home and you get a suitable response. We discuss uh, simple basic circuits with uh, transistors, LEDs, amplifiers, sawtooth signal generators. But we don't forget to implement the um, embedded or microcontroller side of things. Every month in this series we have how to do it with a microcontroller. With a very simple buscom program. So this is not old-fashioned analog design stuff alone, it's also how to deal with this sort of stuff in a microcontroller. Advertising, sorry about that. Arduino on course continues with uh, more discussions about how to make a sound player on one bit principle, which I find very amazing. AVR software defined radio. Um, again, lots of soldering uh, in there. Um, I was kindly given the, um, the prototype by my colleague, uh, colleagues in the lab. And let me have a look. That's this one, together with this one. Uh, this month um, we tackle decoding of um, time standard transmitters, several within Europe. Um, and based on this knowledge, everybody, including Australia or the US or South America, should be able to decode their own local time standard stations. Um, the technology behind this is pretty complex, I have, I have to admit. Uh, this is the uh, time processor board, um, as we discussed it in this article. 
And some of you may remember or already know, this is the generic uh, receiver we're using for, this, for the entire series. This thing uh, comes back every, every time. Um, we discussed the um, waveforms you can expect, you, the, the binary decoding of uh, date information and timing information. Next comes a very funny installment of uh, Retrotronics, Retronics as we call it. This month we have a very unusual medical device from 1928 called the Pan Sanitar, believe it or not, it comes from Germany. Um, you really have to read this to, to believe what's happening. Basically, um, you get uh, probes inserted into uh, bodily orifices, if I can say this politely. And these probes are um, kind of gas inside, have gas inside them, which is ignited. And then hopefully you um, are cured from whatever disease uh, you might have. We wouldn't actually recommend using this at any time uh, in this day and age because people are just going to die or sue you for whatever damage they um, are inflicted on. But we thought it was an interesting uh, old thing from the past, from the past sorry, <clears throat> and it has a lot of uh, de detail on it. Uh, Retronics actually is a combination of things I write myself, um, which I find on the uh, lector attic but occasionally we get contributions from uh, other readers as, as well. And everybody's invited actually to contribute and send me an email please if you have an old interesting thing you might like to describe in a magazine and we pay for it as well. Hexadoku, you can't miss that, you can't beat it either. Very complex. And that basically uh, terminates the, the leafing through or soldering on this, on this issue. So the September issue is, is introduced and um, I'm going to put it back in, in, in the binder, famous binder I was mentioning, like so. And I'll tell you what, if you send me a response to Elector um, using the Elector IM YouTube channel, uh, a favorable response preferably, um, I'll send you a free binder for your collection of your own Elector magazine. How's that? And see you next month. <laughs>